We begin our roundup of week one of the new Liga and Conferama season in Lyon, where Mariano Diaz set about filling Alexandre Lacazette's sizable boots with a goal 23 minutes into his debut against promoted Strasbourg. Another new signing, Bertrand Traore, was then brought down in the penalty area, and that allowed new captain Nadal Fakir to make it 2-0. Mariano, who signed from Real Madrid this summer, only managed a single goal in La Liga, but he doubled that tally in Liga and Conferrama just after the hour mark, making the most there of a defensive mix-up. Fekir rounded out a 4-0 victory in stoppage time, a nice flick from Maxwell Corne and Leon, top of the pile. Marseille made a rather slow start at the stand at Velodrome against Dijon, but two goals early in the second half set them on the way to a comfortable victory. Clinton and G turned in Valagemans cross on 51 minutes, and Florian Tovan then made it two just three minutes later, wrong-footing Dijon keeper Baptiste René. And G got his second and Marseille's third 18 minutes from time with a little bit of help from Valentin Rosier. Rudy Garcia's side also off to a fly. Lille versus Nantes had been billed as the battle of the coaches between the returning Marcelo Bielsa and Claudio Ranieri. In the end, Bielsa's Lille emerged as comfortable winners, Junior Alonso setting them on their way with that first Ligue 1 Conferama goal, a fine strike from the Paraguayan. The northern side were then awarded a penalty when summer signing Kevin Malcuy was brought down in the area by Nicolas Palois. Nicolas de Preville, who scored a hat-trick against Nantes on the final day of last season, making absolutely no mistake. Former Ajax man Anwar El Ghazi then added a third after good work from Romani Kouame. 3 0, and Bielsa back with a vengeance. Mess made a good start at home to Gangon, not on Roux, who arrived from Saint Etienne this summer, scoring just 14 minutes into his debut. But the visitors had a chance to hit back before the break as Marcus Coco was brought down by captain Milan Bisevac. His opposite number, Jimmy Brion, doing the honours. Well, Gangon coach Antoine Kombuare later switched from a 4-4-2 to a more effective 4-3-3, which paid rich dividends. Ludovic Blas coming off the bench to slot home for 2-1. Blas then turned provider for Mustafa Diallo as it finished 3-1. Gangon with a vital win before hosting Paris Saint-Germain next week. And speaking of PSG, they got the job done at home to top-flight newcomers Amiens. Edinson Cavani with a brilliant finish to open the scoring. A new world record signing Neymar watching on from the stands. He's still waiting for his international transfer certificate, but his teammates got the job done in his absence. Cavani with 49 goals in all competitions last term, teeing up Javier Pastore for 2-0. Paris up and running. Champions Monaco also made a winning start, although they had to come from behind twice against the spirited Toulouse. Zinedine Mashash putting the visitors ahead on six minutes at the stand at Louis de. Monaco responding from a corner of their own. Chamatinho for defender Jemison. Andy Delors then fired in a second for Toulouse after setting up the first. But Monaco were level within five minutes. Another header, this time from Radamel Falcao, the man who scored 21 league goals last term. Camille Glick had the final word from another Matinho free kick. It finished 3-2. Saint-Étienne made a fine start under new coach Oscar Garcia, beating Nice at 1 0 on home soil. Jonathan Bamber got the game's only goal on four minutes. The visitors perhaps feeling the effects of Wednesday's Champions League third qualifying round win over Ajax. A first league victory for Le Verme, meanwhile, since April. Montpellier paid a fitting tribute to their late president Louis Nicolin with a narrow win over Caen. Suleiman Kamara becoming the club's all-time leading scorer in Ligue 1 Conferama with his 48th goal. It was 1-0 at Le Mosson. Bordeaux were unceremoniously dumped out of the Europa League in midweek and they quickly found themselves 1-0 down at Angers on Sunday. Angelo Fulgini with his first championship goal. Yunus Sankara equalised for the Girondin on 27 minutes after a neat pass from Francois Camano and some more generous defending from the host allowed Bordeaux to take the lead. Malcolm teeing up summer signing Alexandre Mondi. But decidedly it hasn't been Bordeaux's week. And Baptiste Guillaume's late strike denied them three points. 2-2, the final score. Finally promoted, Troyes took the lead against Rangers 37 seconds into the second half, 
Samuel Grancier scoring his first Ligue 1 Conferama goal. But Jordan Tell rescued a point for the visitors following his summer move from Caen. It was also his first top flight goal. 1-1, it finished. So a winning start for the usual suspects on week one. No problems for PSG, Lille, Lyon and Marseille. Champions Monaco forced to work a bit harder. Nisto beaten by Saint-Etienne, 29 goals in all. Lyon the early leaders ahead of Marseille and Lille. Gangon in fourth with the only side to win away from home this weekend. Troyes are the only promoted side to have picked up a point. They're in 12th position. Dijon, Nantes and Strasbourg are in the bottom three by virtue of goal difference. There are two games scheduled for next Friday, Nice Troyes and Rennes Lyon. Marseille, Lille and Monaco are all on the road, while Neymar could make his debut for Paris Saint-Germain in Gangon.